Well, first of all, it didn't feel like it was a, a win going away for quite a long time. There was a lot of lot of energy in the in the game. Um, I think we're we're getting everybody's A plus game. Um, they were really good, I thought, for a lot of stretches, and we just had to try to figure some things out. And and as you saw, we had a lot of unconnected defense for a lot of the game, but the chemistry between those guys that were out there was started to build. Our switching got a little bit better. We stopped all the back cutting and miscommunication on some of that stuff there for a nice stretch there in the third slash fourth quarter. Got it got it under control. Get back to Moto D the last eight or nine days. Tonight he seemed to be more assertive, aggressive and more in transition. Is that, is that what you need from him? Yeah, he was really good. I thought his decisions were were really, really good tonight. Um the only questionable decision I thought he made one time he he was open for a corner three and he pump faked. There was nobody there and went to the left, but he made it anyway. So ended up being a good decision as well. But no, he was good defensively. We put him all over the place. We had him on Towns a lot and he was doing a good job and he having to switch out on Russell because of that. Um, he just was making some really good reads. I thought those guys got their hands on some balls. I thought Rondé came up with a couple huge steals as well, but OG had a pretty complete game out there. That's why we let him run, what was it, 15 or 16 straight there through the quarter. Well, <clears throat> we really tried to press up on him and make him drive it. We just sat back, sat down a little too much, and he's gonna, he's going to make those if you're no matter where he is on those. And then we we did try to trap him out of the timeouts a lot, and we got the right matchups on him. And I think we turned him over twice out of timeouts for layups, which was huge. Not that you had a ton of options to work with in terms of primary defenders on Towns. Why did you go with Ron Day there, and what did you like about what he did giving up all that size? Well, you know, first of all, he, he's going to play hard, and he's, he's strong. He can kind of get underneath him and, and, and lean on him there a little bit at least, um, try to fight the, the catch. You know, that's kind of the impo important part about post defense a lot is how far can you push him out to, to make him make that initial catch. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I didn't have a whole lot of other options. We, you know, we did talk about starting – uh, OG and Pascal at the four or five, and maybe starting Terrence. Um, but in the end, we decided to to go at him with uh, with Rondé. You've spoken about how your D League history <coughs> prepares you to not really worry about who's playing until you know you get the lineup. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't was, even check. What, I don't even check most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> was Serge not playing against somebody as big and skilled as Towns? Did that sort of push that to its logical extreme? Or well. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think I think so, but again, it's like um, you know, it's not a, it's not like you know you can reach for the panic button if you want to, but it's not unlike we've been in games, you know, we've been with OG at the five before, you know, this year, last year, or whatever. Uh, Rondé kind of plays like a five man a little bit, right? Even though he's only six five or six six, whatever he is, so he plays in the dunker, he screens, he rolls, um, he just usually isn't a that big a talented center on the nights that, that you have to do it. So, you know, you got you to gotta come up with some stuff. You know, when, when, when can you double him on the block? How are you going to keep him off the glass? You know, you got you to gotta do some things that are, that are a little bit <clears throat> out of the ordinary, probably, when you're just said you're just matched up one-on-one. -on -one. You did double or there was a mismatch. Uh, what did you think of, obviously, the health that came? Well, he, he did a great job, I thought, for the most of the game. He was, he was hitting – they have some really athletic cutters, and he hit a bunch of them right out of the doubles. And and those were, A, good passes by him, good cuts and finishes by their other guys, but just a little bit off on the timing for us. We were, we were a little too early. You know, he's still faced up. He can see pretty clearly over the top of whoever's coming. And then I thought we started timing him better in the second half when we were getting him to be a little bit more indecisive in between passing and shooting sometimes. Is there a fearlessness that starts to develop on a streak like this where whatever five guys you have out there feels like they can get the job done? Well, I think that um, I don't. I don't know. I think. I think we um, think we can win, right? I, I think these guys uh, have proven enough that they can win, um, and we've had a lot of injuries this year, and everybody just keeps stepping up and playing. So I think we're kind of used to it, and I think. The one thing you got to do is you got to at least go out there and give a great effort, right? Give yourself a chance to, you know, to win. Don't don't let them play harder than you. If you want, you know, if you think you're 
under talented or undersized or whatever. You gotta you gotta maybe take your level of energy and toughness and all that stuff up a notch. I think I think they'll do that most nights. I imagine Rondé found out today he was starting. Did he also know that he was gonna guard everyone from one through five? <laughs> well, he, he he does guard just about everybody. So yeah, he didn't find out till till late here. We didn't we didn't know Serge wasn't playing until uh, very late in the uh, the day. Um, so he found out late, but like again, these guys. There's been so many guys start and in and out, and I don't think it surprises anybody. And, and I didn't. Even, we didn't even decide that. Like I said, we almost switched. We almost had uh, in the walkthrough at five o'clock. We that was when we finally made it a kind of a decision that we were going to do it. And then I still, I told them I might change my mind once we get back here on who's playing and some of the coverages we're using. Just let me think about it a little bit more. In terms of thinking you can win, obviously proving you can win. Where do you see that confidence on that? Well, <clears throat> I think it's in the players, right? I think they come out there and they take it to you from Kyle to Fred to Pascal to Rondé to OG to the other night is Matt, Terrence. There's a lot of guys that they come out there and they try to execute the offense the best they can and take what's there. If they find a mismatch, we go to it over and over. And if and uh, we try to step in and guard people. I think everybody's, you know, Maybe you'd think somebody's too short or too slow or whatever. At least they go up there and give the effort to try to guard. Is that the biggest challenge of your challenge victory? That was a good one. That was a good one. I hate to have to use those sometimes, Doug. That was a really that was a really tricky one because I lost a timeout there too. I mean, I know you get the timeout back, but it was the mandatory. So I had to take the mandatory, which only left us with two at about the eight, eight and a half minute mark, which was, well... You don't want that. You don't want that very often. Should you should you be able to have another? If your challenge is successful, should you you kind of keep a challenge? Like, yep, up to one hundred of them a night. And if I win, <laughs> if you keep winning. You yeah. just yeah. And once you get to a hundred, you should stop. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know about the challenge rule. It's interesting. Well, it's, I mean, the crowd seems to like it, right? The crowd seems to like the the interest of the challenging thing. That's like everything. They like everything when you win, right? 